My name is John Carter. I'm a county agent. There's one of my friends, Joe Matson. Joe's just had his new tractor delivered. It's a wonderful machine. But you know, there was a time when I might have had a little question in my mind about Joe having a powerful new tractor. It was the way Joe and his son handled a tractor. I can remember the time when I was driving. Yep, that was Joe. You'd have thought that he had never heard of signaling for a left turn. I remember another incident that involved Joe's older boy, Fred. The boy went right through that stop sign without batting an eyelash. No stop, hand signal, or anything. Several months ago, I recall, Joe let his 12-year-old drive the tractor. Joe couldn't see anything wrong in letting a youngster handle a powerful piece of machinery like a tractor. And in addition, the older brother was riding as a passenger, one of the most dangerous bad driving practices. A part of my job as county agent and farm equipment dealers too is safety training. We receive National Safety Council and State Farm Safety Committee figures that prove that people just don't use their heads when they're behind the wheel of a tractor. Fortunately, the problem has never been how safe are tractors. Rather, it has been how safely do people operate them. The manufacturers do everything they can to make equipment safe. They all work together through the Farm Equipment Institute to be sure every tractor is designed as safe as modern industry can make it. Guess you can give the credit to Joe's wife that Joe is a pretty careful driver. Finally, she put her foot down and said, Joe, you're going to drive safely. No accidents in this family. And you know that every time Joe bought a new tractor or any farm equipment, she's insisted I come out to sort of help him and their sons brush up on the ABCs of safety. Not that Joe and his sons need me to teach them the rules, there's nothing complicated about them. The important thing is obeying them. Obey all traffic warning signs. Be sure to stop. Always practice road courtesy, pulling over to let faster vehicles pass. Always use warning signals when hauling slow-moving equipment. That means red flags by day, with rods of non-conductive material, and safety lights for night. And of course, you want to see that there's reflective sheeting permanently attached to all equipment. When it's so simple to be on the safe side, why do people risk their lives and the happiness of their families by taking needless chances? Be sure that you get the full benefit of your tractor by using it safely. That's what we mean by Safe Farming USA.